59.2 cosine of uh, 35. So let's put all of this in. Mg equals T. So replace T by Mg. And then replace the N by 39.2 cos 35. And then put G is 9.8. Okay, that will tell you what the minimum mass is to, for the system to move up the incline. So you're going to have to beat the downward component of the weight of the 4 kilogram block, and you're going to have to beat the friction. Three point six. So you need minimum of three point six kilograms even just to get the system moving, right? So this is different than the other problem that there was no friction because with that problem we saw that if you put one kilogram more, the thing already started accelerating. This one, uh, 3.6 kilogram, is uh, more than one kilogram, uh, more than the answer to part A. So if I want to go to part B again, now back to B, what's going to happen if you put uh, mass one kilogram more than the answer to A? So what's going to happen if I put here uh, one kilogram more than the answer to A is 2.29. So if I put 3.29 kilogram, so we're doing part B here, is it going to move? If I put 3.29, the answer is it's not going to move. It's not enough mass. So if M equals 3.29 kilogram, system doesn't move and what is the value of the friction force that is preventing the system from moving okay what is FS are we going to use mu s in the answer starts with a capital N no okay you don't use, when something is not moving, don't use FS's, mu s n, because that's only when it's at its verge of moving, you know. So use now, um, if you have 3.29, you have uh, 3.29 times 9.8, and then you have here uh, 39.2 sine of 35. And you have here FS. So in other words, when you have 3.29 there, the weight of this plus the FS is enough to balance the weight of that. So you say uh, 39.2 times sine 35 plus FS is equal to the weight of that. And now you solve for what FS is that is preventing the system from moving.
Okay, and there's that. Newtons down the incline. So if I were to give a question like this on the test, I would say, if the system isn't moving, tell me what is the magnitude of Fs and its direction that is preventing the motion, OK? Then you would say how many Newtons it is or how many pounds it is, and then you would give the direction, OK? OK, now let's go to part, uh, we did uh, part C already. We're going to come back to part B because part B has a second half. Um, so we'll come back to part B. Let's go to part D now. Part D said, what was the acceleration of the system if you put one kilogram? No, sorry, I think this was still letter C I had in my numbering. Uh, this was still letter C. I had asked, what would the acceleration of the system be if you put one kilogram more than the required mass to make it move? So uh, if I put 4.6 kilograms, right? So I'm still letter C here. So if M equals 4.6 kilogram, what's going to happen? The system will accelerate. So the equation for this guy is going to be 4.6 uh, 4 times 9.8 minus the t equals 4.6a. It's going to accelerate down. And then the equation for the, the block, it's going to accelerate up. So it's going to be t minus... It's downward component of its weight. Minus, and then now make sure you remember, change to mu k, because the system is now moving. Mu k would be 0.2 times what? The normal force, which is uh, 39.2 cosine of... Uh, 35. Now, one big difference between this problem and the previous one, one of the big differences is that in the previous one, the normal force kept changing. We had to recalculate the normal force, right? This one, it's not changing. No matter what I put on the mass m here, the n is the same. It's always 39.2 cos 35. So in that way, this problem is easier in that sense. But uh, in, the, in, in another sense, it might be harder because it's an inclined, inclined plane a problem. So we've got T minus this minus the friction force equals MA. And now we add these two equations. And then the T drops off. We have uh, 4.6 times 9.8 minus 39.2 sine of 35. And then the t drops off here. And then you have minus 0.2 times this will be uh, 4, 18, 1, 6, 7, uh, 7.84, cos 35. And then make sure to add the right side of the equation, 4 plus 4.6. That's 8.6a. And that's going to be the acceleration of the system.